I had a few hours to myself this afternoon, so I went ahead and installed the uh, radiator hoses on the RED124 project. You might notice those clamps are a bit ugly. Um, I'm giving them a chance because they're kind of wide. They're wider than the originals, and I think that looks good. I've also installed the um, diagnostic top dead center sensor into its socket, and that's it down there. Um, that's donated from an M103. Um, they're the same on the 104 K-Jet. Um, this hose I've prepared for the top radiator uh, connection to the tank, but as luck would have it, I can't find any clamps, so that's a purchase I'm going to have to make to fit that. Um, I still need to fit that heater um, pipe that runs over to the other side of the engine and to that um, auxiliary pump. I've got a brand new one, I just don't have an O-ring to install it. I'm still waiting for it. It's taking forever to get here. And of course that uh, transmission cooler line is installed after I've cleaned it up as well. Out of interest, the tensioner shock has these uh, large washers on it. And bizarrely, the bottom bolt is an M7, which is an extremely uncommon size. I couldn't get a new one of those. I had to reuse the original. And the top one is M8, if I remember correctly. That's standard. And this is just that bar that I bent back yesterday. Um, the right-hand side of the car, it's pretty much perfect. But the uh, left side... Um, it could be better, but it works. I could probably uh, belt that forward with a large hammer, but it's not causing any issues, and I'm not going to run with a plastic tray underneath anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And this is the bolt for the uh, viscous fan clutch. Um, Any time you have an Allen or a cap head screw like this uh, getting chewed out, you must replace it. And these are off-the-shelf bolts, so the replacement is an absolute perfect fit. 